Hey guys, welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform known as Nduna Wengombe, which means headman of cattle. My name of course is Mitsu Mutumba Simata, aka the headman of cattle. Welcome back to my agricultural channel. I just want to say thank you very much guys. We've officially hit 900 subscribers. We might be hitting a thousand before this year ends. As I've been saying, we're going to hit a thousand before 2022 ends. It looks possible, but we still have a long way to go. This is officially video 169 and today we're going to talk about pearl mallet. In Namibia, we call it Mahangu. So that's pearl mallet. So let's start off what pearl mallet is. Pearl mallet, how can you grow pearl mallet? Pearl mallet can be grown in different, in different soils. The, it does not grow well in soil prone to waterlog, waterlog conditions. So waterlog is not good for it. The, the field should be plowed once or twice followed by harrowing to create, uh, to create fine tillage. So the type of uh, pearl millet you get. So the type of pearl millet you get. Penicillin, millicagia, penicillin, glucamus, glucam, citria italic, italic. I hope I'm not butchering the scientific names, eh? <laughs> penicillin, millicagia. Penicillin, mm. glucam, ceteria italic. Okay, we got Ulysses coracanic, the iconic Itali uh, East African crop, teeth. The iconic African teeth is a close relative. Millet was domesticated in western part of the Sahel regions of west of Western Africa, dating back to three uh, three thousand five hundred years. From here, the crop spread to India, where it is cultivated. Cultivation dates back to 2,300 years. Finger millet originated in East Africa and found its way to India by 1,000 by 1,800 BC. Today, India is the world's largest producer of pearl millet. Pearl millet is well adapted to the sub-arid and less fertile agricultural regions of Africa, and is more reliable than any other crop under these conditions. The crop also responds well to irrigation, soil supplements, hybrid vari varieties are bred to improve disease resistant and increase yield, productivity. One hybrid variety that is used locally in Namibia is Okashana 1. The variety was developed in India from a nat naturally growing varieties of Burkina Farsi and, dub and doubled yields. Okashana Okas one is now also used in Chad, Mauritania, and Benin. Millet is eaten the world over. It is thus part of, of it is thus part of very different, it is thus part of very different national cuisines, such as Russian, German, Chinese, before rice became dominant in Asia, it was millet that was the staple. Perhaps the most popular way to eat millet is as porridge. Both sweet and savory options are popular. Sweet dishes often include honey or syrup and fruits. Savory versions are usually eaten with stew and sauces. Given the millet, given millet is gluten-free, it is suitable as an ingredient for bread making. Unless it is combined with additional gluten, con uh, gluten containing or, addition glut or additional gluten is added, enriched with uh, vital nutrients. It contains most of the vitamin, most of the vitamin B. It contains most of vitamin B and is rich in other minerals such as iron, magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, copper, zinc, and chromium it is known to have the highest level of potassium calcium and iron amongst other cereal crops it is second to barley as far as magnesium zinc content is concerned in addition pearl millet is the only grain to contain significant levels of chromium it has the highest folic acid amongst <clears throat> amongst all cereals which make it which make, it the, which make it the diet of choice for pregnant women. Rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants kill free radical, 
free radicals that cause damage to the body at cellular level and the damage is associated with many diseases and disorders. Since pearl mallets, since pearl mallets are a rich source of antioxidants, they are cons their consumption offers a great deal of potassium against free radical, uh, radical free radical illnesses such as cancer, atheritis, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer disease. There are some of the benefits of pearl mallet. Pearl mallet is a very rich source of iron. Recently, new variants of pearl mallet are being conventionally cultivated, which provides a high level of dietary iron to women. Iron deficiency causes general fatigue and, in, and impairs mental development as well. Reduces blood sugar levels. Pearl mallet is very effective, effectively used to maintain normal blood sugar levels. It has fiber contents which slow, which slow down digest, digestion and release, and release the glucose into the blood as, at a lower rate. <clears throat> Thereby helps to maintain normal blood sugar levels for a, com for, a for a comparative longer duration of time. The type of things pearl mallet can help with aids in weight loss, reduces cholesterol, uh, uh, relieves constipation, prevents insomnia. Methods of sewing. Three, uh, three systems of pearl mallet sewing are followed. One, on a flat surface. Two, using ridge, using ridge and furrowing system. Or three, in a broad bread and furrow system, the seeds should be sewn 2.5 centimeters to 2.5 centimeters apart to three centimeter to three centimeter depth time of sewing sewing of the karifa pearl mallet should be done with the utmost of the monsoon first fourth night in july and july in the north in central parts of the country this is in india first fourth night of october is appropriate time for the rabi season of talmi talmil to be planted gap filling should be done by transplanting seedlings after two to three weeks of sowing it is it is it, it is it is important in in another part of india uh, dry sowing uh, dry sowing prior to dry sowing prior to the first monsoon rains is recommended summer pearl mallet should be sown from from the fourth to the fifth standard meteorologic uh, week this is where you take um, weather in last week of january Last week of January to the first week of February to obtain higher production of summer pearl mallet. Seed treatment. Seed treatment with biopesticides or dust pesticide or theram, 70% dust at uh, 3 kilograms. S 3 kilogram seeds will help against soil borne diseases. Seed treatment with about 300 mesh sulfide powder, 4 kilogram seed controls smith disease. For removing egrot affected seeds, they are soaked in 10% salt solution. Seed treatment with metallexol, apron, uh, metallexol at 6 kg seeds. Azospidalum and, fo and photo and fossa force bacterium to enhance the availability of nitrogen and phosphorus. Seed rate. 3 kg a hectare, spacing 60 cm apart, maintain low plant population of 1.00 to 1.25 a hectare. For the area receiving rainfall, more than 450 mm, the crop should be planted at the space of about 45 times 10 minus 15 cm, keeping plant, uh, keeping plant population at 1.75 to 2.0 a hectares seed rates for the crop should be taken at three to four kilogram a hectare for obtaining required plant stand plant population the recommended plant stand of pearl mallet under normal condition is 180 plants a hectare or 72,000 plants a hectare so it's 180,000 plants per hectare to 72,000 plants a hectare under irrigation under irrigation or high level of management on high productive soil, a population of about 22, 22, no, 225,000, sorry, 
plant a hectare that's about a thousand plants plants an acre depending which one you want to work with is recommended on extremely sandy drought soil or population of about 90,000 plants a hectare it could be about 4,000 uh, 40,000 40,000 plants a, a acre is desirable uh, nitro, nutri, uh, nutrient management application of 40 kilograms n plus 20 kilogram p 205 a hectare for arid regions and 60 nh plus 30 kilograms p 05 a hectare for semi-arid for semi-arid regions is recommended for soil pearl mallet as well as interior as well as intercropping systems in light soil sandy loam the up applied nitrogen may be lost due to leaching due to leaching with heavy rains so only about half of the recommended nitrogen does uh, nitrogen dose should be applied at seed bedding preparation the remaining half of the nitrogen do dose is side dressed when the crop is about 25 days old soil which soil soil which do not leach easily like black soil all of the nitrogen dose is soil dressed when the crop is about 25 days old on soil which do not sorry soil which do not leach easily i'm repeating all the nitrogen may be applied during seed bear, seed preparation pearl millet pearl millet seeds are sensitive to fertilize to fertilize burn do not apply fertilizer in the in the farrow with the seed or very near the seed in the row after sowing it should be applied as side as side dressing use of bio fertilizer can economize the n and p fertilizer application zinc deficiency soil of the pearl mallet growing area of the country growing area of the country application of the 10 kilogram zns 04 a hectare is recommended to the correct zinc deficiency in standing crop in standing crops spray of 0 0.2 znso znso for a, till, a, a tillering to to uh, to pre-flowering stage is recommended under prolonged dry uh, dry spells skip top dressing of np top dressing skip top dressing of np spray of two percent urea under extensive rain situations during vegetable during vegetative phase additional dose of nitrogen at 20 kilogram a hectare should be given inter -culti cultivation and weed control two hoeing and weed and weedings at 15 to 30 days are sufficient for controlling weed effectively which is compatible with the herbicide weed control through pre emergate application of atrazin atrazin at 0.5 kilograms a hectare superimposed with one with one hand weeding second weedings help to conserve soil moisture irrigation under prolonged dry spell irrigation should be applied at critical stages of the crop growing ieg till, uh, tillering flowering grain development stages if water if water is available in summer pearl mallet should be irrigated at regular intervals of about 0 0.75 uh, days to about uh, 0 0.75 uh, 0 0.75 a uh, one minus one um, CPE with about 44 millimeters as per needed as per need of the crop harvesting the best stage to harvest pearl mallet is when the plant reaches psychological maturity determined by the black spots at the bottom of the grain in the hollow region when the crop matures the leaves turn yellowish and present a near dry up appearance usually Practic usually practice of harvest usual practice of harvesting pearl mallet is cutting the the ear head first the stalk first the uh, first first the stalk uh, by, by cutting the ear head first and then the stalk later the stalk straw are cut after a week allowed to dry and then the stalk and then stacked grain at grain at 
at or below 40 at or, low, at, at or below 40 percent moisture is considered dry for long-term storage more than six months grain moisture con content should be less than 12 percent this is one if you want to store it for longer major pests for pearl mallet it's white grub um, shoot fly grasshoppers termites gray weevil ear earhead bug stem burrowers hairy caterpillars major diseases you have the down downy mildew rust smut ergot ir, ergot and blast those are the illnesses and that's pearl mallet do we farm it in namibia yes we do we do uh, it's farmed mostly in the north central part of namibia we use it to make um, porridge and also we use it to make uh, oshifima which is a much more solidified version of pearl mallet we use it that but the people that eat a lot of pearl mallet are usually the tribe in Namibia known as the Shuambo speaking people. They eat pearl mallet. They use it to make porridge, soft porridge. They use it to make pap, which is a harder version of porridge. They use it to make a traditional drink called Oshikundu, which is a sogam pearl mallet drink. Very refreshing, very delicious. That's what pearl mallet is used for. As I mentioned, it's got very good uh, medical um, uses. I'm not sure if you can use it for animal feed. You actually can use it for animal feed. The forage is also an important secondary production used for animal feed so it can be utilized for animal feed um, the grain the grain is what we harvest to make uh, as i mentioned mahangu in namibia we call it mahangu in other parts i'm sure it has different names what you call it and then from there on we make flour out of it and that flour we use it to make porridge it can be used to make bread you can actually use it for bread because it's gluten free and it has very a lot of medical i mean a lot of health benefits too you can also use it, uh, include pearl mallet in poultry, in your poultry diet. Feeding pearl mallet to lay hands is, has additional benefits. So that's something you can look at. I know after we harvest the pearl mallet, we leave that. Some people leave the stem standing in the field. You can chase your cattle in there. They can eat the forage. You can chase your goats and your sheep. I think they can also get in there and eat it. And you can take it, that part, and take, the I believe, the stem of the pearl mallet or the pearl mallet grain, fine grind that into a powder, Fine grind it into a powder and, and give it to the chickens and the chickens will eat that. Or just in its form. I know farmers up north in the Zambezi will just harvest the pearl mallet, the grain, the, the green seed. They'll just give it to their chickens like that. And the chickens will eat it and they would enjoy it. So you can actually use it for, beside animal, I mean beside human consumption, it can be used for animal feed also. So that's an important thing of pearl mallet. And why people love it is because it can grow in the most difficult growing environments where most plants wouldn't grow so it's a close cousin of the sogam similar to how sogam grows pearl millet does the same thing so those are my two cents with pearl millet if i sounded inexperienced you have to probably give me colleagues i'm not a pearl millet farm i plant white maize that's what i know as i said i'm from the northeast of the country we do more white maize and some people do pearl millet pearl millet they do pearl millet they do sogam and i believe they call it yeah we do pearl millet and sogam and and then we pearl millet not really that much you do more sogam but we started to do pearl mallet and I think they call it Mauza. They call it Mauza with us. So those are my two cents, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to wish you guys have yourself a good night and bye for now.